Today we're gonna to be looking at the Recurve Dual by Watofo and Mike Vapes. This is actually a 24 millimeter RDA opposed to the 22, which was the original. With the cap, it came out to 24, but the deck itself was a 22 millimeter. It does have the same beautiful honeycomb airflow that we're used to. The same similar type of deck system, which I'm so glad that they actually made it bigger into a dual coil. So let's go ahead and take it down and we're gonna go ahead and put a build in it and then we're gonna come back up, talk about it, pros and cons, and see how I like it. So let's go ahead and go down. So here we are with the Recurve Dual by Watofo and Mike Vapes. And you've got your RDA. Underneath the RDA, we're gonna get some goodies in here, which I'm not a fan of the box, but I, I, I am a fan of the goodies. Okay, so this right here is the card that is gonna give you the recommendation for cutting your coil leads. Uh, leads. If you've got a coily tool such as this, you can use it, or they actually provide you one already in the box. One that they provide you in the box, and this does go up to the seven millimeters that you need. It's basically the coily tool, but like on a miniature scale, so this is a little bit easier to hold and grip, but they do give you this one. Um, each of these little plates are actually one millimeter in size or depth. When you put them together, you get more, like this would actually be three because you're putting three together. This one would be four because you're putting four together. And then this one here is actually four millimeters. So you can actually, the good thing about this one is you can actually cut your leads for both coils at the same time. So I think that's a pretty good idea. So I'm actually gonna be using my coiling tool because I already know that it's gonna be a seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Additionally, inside you're gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver and you're also gonna get an Allen key. The Allen key is to um, remove and replace your 510 pin if you wanna change it out to the squonking pin. The one that is currently installed is the regular 510. Then you're gonna get your extra drip tip. I absolutely love the recurve drip tip, so I'm really, really happy that they included it. Um, if you don't want the shorty drip tip that is on it, you can go ahead and use that. In addition to that, you're gonna get some cotton to use. And then in addition to that, you're also going to get some coils. These are actually the quad core fused Clapton's. These are the same type of coils that actually came in the original uh, Recurve RDA, so I really, really like that. And then, of course, you're gonna get your extras. These are the extra um, screws that you get in there. These are also the same as those which that are installed, which are either flathead or Phillips head. You can do either way. And then of course your squonk pin, some extra O-rings and things like that. And then last but not least, you're gonna get your user manual. Now this is more like a pamphlet. It does fold out and fold up, but we're gonna be going over it so we really don't really need to look too much into that. Go ahead and take a, take a look at the star of the show. So this is the Recurve Dual RDA. If you notice on one side it says Recurve, nothing on the other side. You do have a removable 810 drip tip. You do have the O-ring on the inside. So any of your 810 drip tips will fit, including the extra one that they provided. On the bottom, it is 24 millimeter in diameter and that's what the top cap and everything on it. it does say Recurve Dual, the Watofo logo there, and then Mike Vapes. The 510 is protruding, so you can use this on a hybrid without any problems. And if you notice, the airflow is actually a honeycomb style airflow, very, very similar to the original Recurve. Now this is the actual re original Recurve RDA, and the holes are very, very similar in the placement, but these are just a little bit bigger, um, just a little bit. So that'll give you that kind of play. It doesn't have this slimming body shape or original recurve. He did actually leave it more straight, which is more similar to the 22 millimeter conversion cap that he actually um, made later on. Oops, got some juice on it. So this looks more like this, but actually like the daddy now. So this was the original recurve 22 millimeter conversion kit, which you could have turned into a 24 with the beauty ring. So this is, yeah, that that that's that. Very, very similar, but like on the original top cap, if you notice how thick that was, this actually made it a 24 because it was actually a 22 millimeter RDA. So they did reduce this and change this out. So the top cap with the recurve dual is gonna be a little bit thinner. Okay, so I know it's black, so it's gonna be hard to see. I really wish that it would have been like stainless steel or gold or something like that where you could see it better. But inside you will have two notches. You've actually got a notch on this side and a notch on this side, 
really, really nice and really, really clean. Of course, I've already been using it, so I did wash it out when I did get it the first time, and I still do. Um, the O-rings that are actually on the deck are really, really tight, so it was kind of hard to take this top cap off and put it back on, so I do want to warn you about that. There was It was just really dry, so you do want to just put a little bit of e-liquid on it after you wash it. It is domed out, very, very similar to the original recurve, very, very similar. And then you can see the holes right in here. So again, he said that he made these just a little bit bigger, as far as I can remember um, from his intro video, but it is still called the recurve dual because number one, it was called the recurve to begin with when it was a 22 and a single coil. So why not call it the recurve dual? So that works for that. Now, going on to the deck. This deck is almost identical to the original recurve deck. If you look at it really, really close. I'm gonna put the original right here. Now the original deck was only made for a single coil, but this one is made for dual. You can see that it's just basically just bigger. So he did think of that and he did shave off some of the sides where the air flows are. If you notice, they're a lot thinner now. So you've actually got more room on the deck instead of just the airflow because this block was a lot thicker. So now you can actually put in your two coils very, very easily without having to worry about it. And then of course you have the peak insulator around that side and then nothing on that side. Now this does have the regular pin in it. When it does have the squonk pin in it, your juice will actually come out this way and out this way into those little wicking channels. So I do like that. Now on here, they look kind of sharp, but they are not sharp. I did test that and they are not sharp at all. Even though they thin them out, they're really, really nice. It does say recurve dual here, nothing on the other side as the other one did. And then there are your Phillips slash flathead screws on both sides. So you do have those screws included. Very, very nice and easy tension on the screws. There's absolutely no grinding or anything like that. They open up absolutely beautifully, just like on the original. So we're gonna go ahead and do a build on this. And I do, I, I was always a fan of the original recurve. Love, love, loved it. Um, gave me great flavor. It was very restrictive, um, but on the original recurve, what you could do is if the, if the vape was too restricted, if you spaced your coils in this, it actually gave you a little bit more airflow, which helped me out a lot because I do like a little bit of airflow. Well, a lot of airflow. So for my coils today, I'm actually gonna be using my Fuse Claptons from Coil Clout. These are absolutely my favorite coils. That's why I always use them because they're mine and I, I buy them in bulk. So yeah, so these are from coilcloud.com. If you use the code Wendy, you can get 10% off of anything on the site. So let's go ahead and put that aside there. And then as um, recommended, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and cut these at seven millimeters. When I tested it out, that was actually the perfect length. So I'm just gonna keep them at seven. I'm not gonna try anything differently. So let's go ahead and cut this leg, cut this leg, that easy. And go ahead and cut this one. I do like the other tool, but this one, I just feel like it's easier to grip because the other one is a lot smaller. So, and I'm just so used to this one. So it just makes things a lot quicker when you're used to things. So there we go. We've got our two coils right there. And I'm gonna do as I always do and grab my screwdriver so to help me out. And I do have all of the screws open nicely and then we'll go ahead and place the coils so i'm gonna go ahead and put this one over here just like that and screw that one down and then screw this one down really really easy i mean basically you're dropping them in and tightening them down that's it I'll go ahead and put in the other one. I'll turn it around so you can see it. Right there and right there. Always make sure that you get them in the holes. You know how many times that I've had to redo builds because I didn't get it all the way in the hole. <laughs> it was outside of the hole. So there we go, there's one and then there's two. So we've got those in. So now we can go ahead and start adjusting our coils. Just gonna make sure these are nice and tight. Okay, 
and then all we need to do is just go ahead and position them by the airflow. So I'm gonna lift that one up and then move this one over here. We can position them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just pull it up because I do want it like right next to the airflow like that so that the airflow is hitting it. And then straighten up this one as well. And then there we go, we've got our build in there. Oops, we got this one a little bit crooked, there we go. All right, love, love, love it. It reminds me, oh my God, what is that animal? Not an owl, it's something that's got the wings up like that, that's what it reminds me of. So let's go ahead and start heating up the coils. I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and start heating these up. What I like to do sometimes is just separate the coil a little bit while they're heating up because that does sometimes help them heat up just a little bit faster. And then you can also pinch them to get all the hot spots out. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Oh my gosh, they're glowing absolutely beautifully. Okay, there we go, almost ready. A little bit of strumming here. Okay, we've got them glowing evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and let them cool down and then we'll wick that right up. For today's cotton, I'm gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. This is my favorite cotton and I've just gone ahead and grabbed a piece. So I'm gonna break it right in half and then we'll start twisting this baby up. Okay, and then all we gotta do is just put this in here and pull it through, there we go. Now you don't want it too loose inside. Whenever people have like a lot of spit back, it's usually because your cotton is too loose within the coil. So you do wanna make sure that it's snug, but it's not too tight where it's moving your coil. All right, so we've got those all up there. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and start combing it out. I always comb out my cotton. For the most part, about 95% of the time, I'm combing out my cotton. So there we go. I like to thin it out, especially towards the end, because with the capillary action, it just helps the juice to get up to your coil a little bit better, in my opinion. Of course, my opinion. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some cotton here. And cut, cut some right here. And then all we need to do is just put it right there. Now I actually am gonna be using this as a dripper, not as a squonker, that's just my prerogative. I've already tried it squonking and dripping. I just like it, I love dual coils uh, dripping rather than squonking personally, but that's just me. So that's it, That that's the beautiful set that it is. So let me go ahead and get some e-liquid and we'll go ahead and start juicing this puppy right up. For today's juice, I'm actually gonna be using my Royal Mojito. This is a watermelon mojito with just a touch of lime at the end. One of my favorites. And this is, um, my link is down below. You can go to queen-ejuice.com. And yeah, so there we go. Just go ahead and start heating them up. I always like to do this and prime it up first because that way you know that the cotton within the coil has been heated up or juiced up. The cotton within the coil is nice and juiced up so that you don't have any dry hits or anything like that. So that's always why I do this. There we go. Oh yeah, baby, dual coil. I was really hoping that this would come in a dual coil one day. <laughs> and here we are. There we go. Nice and juiced up. So we got that all heated up. Let's go ahead and put this top cap on. Again, it does have the lock in place, but it's got the same type of lock as the original recurve. So you can put it on. And then if you're cutting down your, your um, airflow, you can actually still move it. So it still will move from left to right without it coming off of your mod. See how that works? Just like the original recurve, just like it. So no matter where you put your airflow, you'll be able to center it directly on your coil. So I think that that's awesome. So I do like mine wide open. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Recurve Duel by Wotofo and Mike Vapes. 
Okay, so here we are back on top with the Recurve Dual RDA. And before anything, we're gonna go ahead and have a vape because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show you the airflow in clouds, I got to. Cloud chucker, baby. Massive airflow. I think that opening up that deck and having the same amount of airflow that we had as before, but opening up that deck just left a lot more room for the airflow to come in. And it's, you hear it? Really, really airy. I absolutely love it. I love really a lot of airflow. That to me is key. Now I'm going to cut it down a little bit. So that way we can go ahead and adjust it. Oh, other way. We're gonna take it down by two, so I got it down by two. I would never go down lower than four open, to be honest with you, so. This is, the with the four holes, it reminds me of the original recurve, the airflow in the original recurve. So I, I, I like it better wide open. It's giving me that extra air for that extra coil that I really, really like and that I really need. But if you are used to the original recurve and you wanted something that restrictive and a little, and I'm not talking major like a pot or anything, but a little bit more restrictive, then you want to cut it down by two holes like this. And it, you can't even see it with this black. I really hate that, that I got black, but there we go. If you cut it down, leaving four holes open, it's perfect, just like the original recurve. Now with the original recurve being that it was restrictive, the one way that you could open it up and get a little bit more air was to space your coils. In this one, you don't need to do that to get more airflow because it's a bigger deck. It's wider, it's open, it's spaced. You know, the, it's got a very, very nice deck space, so you don't really have to do that unless you really like them that way. For me, it's perfect just like this. Really, really nice. So 24 millimeters, kept the same design as the conversion cap, but can't, kept the same deck as the original recurve. That I absolutely like. I like things that we enhance upon and I'm getting just as good flavor as I was with the original recurve. I am getting with this. I know exactly what my Royal Mojito tastes like. Trust me on that. So I am getting that. Um, again, depending on where you put your coils, you can raise them up a little bit more if you want to. You can lower them down a little bit if you want to. You can actually play with it because of the way that it's built. You can actually make your legs longer or shorter depending on your, your speed or what you like. Every vapor is different. Not everybody likes the same thing all the time. So that to me is great. That to me is kind of innovative because you're being able to cater the, to the different types of builds or, or vaping styles that people have. Um, I like the simplicity of it. I like just having the recurve there and it's very, very simple. It's I love the fact that they did include the extra drip tip, which is the original recurve drip tip. Absolutely love that drip tip. It was a phenomenal drip tip. So incorporating that in here, I think is great. Having this build deck, this build deck is just beautiful. This is just a really beautiful build deck. Um, it's nice and spacey. You have plenty of space. You can put even bigger coils. If you want to put four millimeter coils in here, you could do it because it has the space capacity for it. The honeycomb airflow is definitely making it a smoother vape without any hesitation. The vape is definitely smoother. There's absolutely no issue with that at all. So you have that. It fits anything. It's a 24 millimeter. So you don't need a conversion cap or any type of beauty rings or a thick, 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 um, cap. This one is much thinner than the original, if you notice here, and the original to make it a 24, so it's a lot thinner. Um, I don't feel like this gets as hot as the original did. The original did get really hot if you were chain vaping it, um, and I think that's because it was a thicker top cap. But with this one, I'm not having that problem. Again, a lot more air. Um, the same good flavor. I'm not going to say that one flavor is better than the other because to me, they both have amazing flavor. I love the size of it. He kept it as a shorty and it, it's not too big, too small. Absolute perfect size. You can use your own A10 drip tips. That's awesome. It is hybrid compatible. So it does have the 510 that does protrude. So you can use it on a hybrid. Squonking this is just as good. I just personally do not squonk with dual coils. That's just something I don't do. Um, because I don't like squonking at really, really high temperatures and I tend to use higher wattages with dual coils than I do with single and that's just my, my vaping style. 
For anybody else out there that likes that, then this would absolutely be perfect. There was no problem. It worked just as well as the recurve single. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. I, I want to say congratulations to Mike and Watofo for coming out with this. Watofo, thank you so much for sending it my way. Also, Watofo now has, in addition to just the Watofo cotton, you can actually get Watofo ceramic tweezers. You can get Watofo scissors. And you can get Watofo cutters. So they now have these on their website as well. So if you're interested or you need any of these and you're on the website to purchase um, the recurve, then you can go ahead and do that. Now this one here, they did send me, these are the three millimeter cotton strings. So I do appreciate that. But I did wanna show you that now they have other things, not just the RDAs out there so that you can look at. But yeah, I think that they did an amazing job on this. I love the fact that it incorporated the original that we all know and love and just made it even better. In my opinion, I love dual coils and I think that that just, it just enhanced the, the, the RDA. It really did. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review. Um, they will be coming to bradsvapor.com if you want to go ahead and check them out. Wendy Vapes 10 will get you 10% off of anything on the website. They'll also have it at other websites such as Element Vape. Uh, my v pro and things like that but they will be definitely having it at brad's vapor drip a little bit more look at this i'm just gonna drip a little bit more i love dual coil love dual coils Absolutely amazing airflow. I can't get over the airflow. The airflow is just amazing. I love that it's wide open. It's giving me that feeling that I need um, with more airflow, less restriction. So depending on which way you vape is which one you're gonna like the most. But for me, I think they really hit it out of the park. So um, that's it for my review. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.